Right, I'm going to show you how to take a gearbox out of one of these beasts. This is a Scania P280, is it? Something like that. I don't know, they're all pissed in the same pot now. It's an 18 tonner. And this is the gearbox, what we're going to take out today. Now, if you first look at this, you might think if you've never done one before, oh my God, that's going to be a nightmare. But it's not as bad as right looks. As long as you've got a right cradle to underneath to hold it and you're on quite flat ground, you're halfway there, really. There she flies. See, now that big pot's out of the way, isn't it? Now we can really see what we're doing. Remove any foliage, what's caught in the gearbox, like conkers and trees and things, because they don't want to be on there. Right, what's the next step? We shall take the gear linkage off, up here. There's the gear linkage lock. I'm going to take this bolt out here. Take that beast out, and then that bolt there. Take that one out, and then there's two below this bracket here. And these two. And then that should just come out there. Like so. Just put that out of the way so it's not going to get your gearbox snarled up. Oh fuck it, we'll worry about that when we get the gearbox out anyway. Alright, next step's the slave cinder. You'll have enough slack on the pipes to leave all the pipes connected. Just take off the mounting bolts and move the slave cinder, but we'll leave it piped up. What the fuck is that? I even removed this lot, dead apple. Do you know on that in there? The hell's that there in there? Three mounted bolts, there is one at the bottom, two at the top. Just pop the slave cylinder out the release hole. Just like that, pop. And then try and piss it off out the way. Oh, there you see. Still at the way that bolt's gone. The disappearing bolt. Undo this wiring bracket. Doubling up with spanners to get more leverage. You know that trick, doubling up with spanners, look. So if you can't get it cracked off it too tight, get another spanner and you got more leverage, look. Everyone knows about that one, surely. Needs a taco calibration after this. Because look, we broke the seal on the taco. Naughty me! Bad lad. You can mark these wires up if you want, but as long as you keep them all tied up, they go back in the same place. And all your little wires and parts, look, can be scooted away over there. Yeah, so everything's off now. All I've left on is the gearbox rear mount. There, look. Left them on. There, look. Left them on, and I've left the ballasting bolts on. I'm gonna support it now with a cradle under here, and then whip them off. Like a little whippy whippy. Whippy sticky. Right, I'm going to uh, support the engine now. I was hoping that that would fit, but it doesn't. Yes, oh. And then you just simply fit the bits of wood in the opening between the engine 
and the axle. Fuck it, I don't fit. Damn it. Right, I'm going to crack the mounts off. Now we're just going to crack off the gearbox mounts. Just crack them off. I haven't got a torque socket, a prop one, because I'm very ill-equipped. So I have a 17mm socket instead. You like that, don't you? I like it. Oh my God, Chris, that looks as safe as houses. Yes, it does, thank you. And you may be thinking, why I haven't chained it around it? It's simply because I can't be asked. And the only place it can fall is on the floor. Which is where I want the fucking thing anyway. Balazin bolts off then. Oh, I made a fucking boo-boo lot. Where I'll put this lot, I'm covering up the hatch for me freaking catching there. So I've got to reposition it all. Oh, bloody hell. There we go, I've repositioned the jack now. So I can get into the hole, the balazin hole. So I can release the clutch clip. Stupid man. There's always one balazin bolt that you miss. And it's always the most awkwardest bastard. There, there's the last balazin bolt. That can go over there. Now I'm going to take the mounting bolts out and watch the gearbox fall to the floor. <laughs> Hopefully not crush me. There we go. All out. Now lower it down so your engine is on the little woody buds. I need a little Cyril the screwdriver to podger it out. Now it's hit the clip. It's come out certain bit. Now it's hit the clip in the, uh, the release bearing clip. You see that there? Look, there's where the clip is. Right. Uh, I'll try and put my finger right. Right there. Look. Right where the tip of my finger is there. See that arm there? I'm going to take that arm off there. We'll undo that bolt there and the other one, and then it will just slide out then. The old thing. That clip's being a bastard, which I thought it would do. Cam's gonna fall off. what I was doing in the gearbox, undoing them, and then it allows it all just to slide away. Like that, look. So you're not fucking around with that clip. That's it, guys, gearbox job done.